actually uh, I'm a visually impaired person like I'm fully blind and uh, it was like since childhood I had a little vision little eyesight um, and later on after crossing my class 12 that is the A levels mark I had a little road accident and uh, that caused the remaining eyesight to go away it was the year 2003 and um, now it's 2023 so it's almost uh, 20 years of experience with blindness I was in uh, grade 5 at the time my father uh, uh, was uh, like encouraged me to play the game of chess he and uh, even my father's family they considered chess to be a good um, intellectual practice for the brain and uh, that's how I got started my first tournament was in when I was in grade 5 actually I, I, I started playing chess uh, much earlier with my father my dad and uh, it was in grade 5 there was a local tournament in a school so I participated there and maybe the following year it was uh, 96 or 97 that I um, took part in the first um, first rating uh, first rated tournament FIDE rated tournament uh, in our country uh, which took place in Bangladesh Chess Federation that's when I got first introduced with Chess Federation and after playing a few tournaments I got my rating at that time the FIDE rating started from the 2000 mark so there were not too many players but I got rating quite early uh, during my school days then I also uh, qualified uh, twice uh, to play the Bangladesh Chess Championship. The first time I played and the second time was just after that road accident. I mean I qualified, the road accident took place and uh, my eyesight was falling uh, very rapidly and I was not sure whether I can play or not. I'm not seeing the board clearly, right? So, and I did not know that um, there is a braille system, there is a special board and all these things. There was not much uh, awareness about visual disability. My 20 years of experience with um, visual disability and my uh, since childhood experience with chess, I can say that um, those who are late blind, as we call them, like they were not blind before, but later on they became blind. All right. The main problem they face is, in my view, is mental depression. You know, suddenly the entire world becomes dark around. All right. So that's also what happened to me. My career uh, path was like I was crazy about computer programming. But when I became blind, uh, my dream of pursuing uh, a computer science career also broke because the learning resources that are required to teach computer science to a blind person these resources were not there in the universities after 2003 blindness with frustration and depression i had a three or four years of study break but uh, there came a major turning point when i when after around 10 years I started to learn about disability. You know, that you might ask me that um, I said that I had a uh, very uh, small eyesight since childhood, you know? Then how come I learn about disability so late, right? So it was like I knew that uh, I have some problems in my eyes, um, but I didn't know that this is called a disability. I know that there is several sufferings that I have to go through. My friends are doing some of the things which I cannot do properly, all right? But, well, I can see a little, I can manage. I knew this thing, but there is disability, there's rehabilitation, there is way to um, learn. There's screen readers and screen magnifiers. There's special constructed boards for, uh, for a visually impaired chess players. Would you like to see my board? I carry a board with me, like... Uh, yeah, sure, sure. All right, of course. Mm. 
this is the board. I'm looking at it from black side because you can see it's written in braille, right? This is A, B, C, D. So it's running from your left to right. So that means you're on the white side, okay? And you can see the squares, the black squares are raised a bit. And uh, so you can touch and let me show you the pieces. It's like, this is a white king, all right? How do I know why it's a... Uh, How do you know it's a white king? Yes, I, I'm, t I'm telling you. This is a white knight, all right? I'm, 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 I'm telling you, wait. Don't find that for me. This is a black knight, all right? This is a black knight. This is a black rook. So you can, you can see this is a black queen. So let us just compare the queen. You can see that um, just you see that the black pieces have a small dot on them. See the rook, you can touch and feel. There's a small dot on the black queen, on the black king, I mean, a, a black queen and black rook. Even one, two, three, four, these are written on the side in braille. You can touch and, and, and feel. Well, uh, for long experience, I don't need to ch touch this one, two, three, four. I know every square, all right? So, but for someone who is beginning to learn chess, he can use this A, B, C, D, and one, two, three, four. When I first became like blind and I, after that 10 years when I got to know that there's a specially constructed board, even after that, I did not feel or find the confidence that I can touch and feel the position. For me, I cannot see the position. How can I play? All right. But gradually it felt like as I practiced for around six months or so, suddenly things started to become i started to become habituated with it and what i now find is that those who are learning chess uh, new beginners those who are uh, if they are blind they need to touch the board a lot but once you attain a level of let's say above 1600 or 1800 all right so the board actually becomes a kind of like an extra help to you because you can visualize the board. You can even, uh, you have definitely seen masters playing even blindfold chess, right? So there is a mental board already on the, in the mind, but uh, this is an additional help. I can just touch and see that which, what I am imagining or visualizing, well, this is actually that, all right? So you can sometimes check.